Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Melody. Today I am going to show you two vegan recipes. Now these are cooking vegetables. So first recipe is going to be making spinach. You can use fresh spinach but I am here using frozen spinach. So whatever you have you can use it. So I have two 16 ounce packages of frozen spinach. And I took it out to let it defrost for a little bit and I'm going to cook this and just saute it and I have some spices to saute it so I'm just going to start my stove top the oven and put little bit of olive oil about a teaspoon one teaspoon of olive oil and I'll let it warm up a little bit and then put some cumin seed and asafoetida to it and this cumin seed and asafoetida is very good for gas if you have any indigestion or gas problem this will help a lot so I will let it splatter a little bit and then I have four cloves of garlic chopped up and I'm going to let all these three things get brown not burned or just slightly brown and when it becomes slightly brown it gives a beautiful aroma and usually the aroma of the cumin seed and the sephodida and the garlic also when it's roasted it gives a really awesome aroma and then I'll let it roast a little bit and then I will bring down the heat when you're roasting you can bring the heat up and then after that bring the heat down but be sure to check it don't leave it alone or it's going to burn so after it's roasted I'm just going to pour in the spinach and then I will just Give, you can give the water as well because this water will help the spinach to break up and cook and I'm going to make sure that the heat is very very low because we want to cook it we don't want to eat the raw spinach a lot of people do eat raw spinach but I don't so now I'm going to use some spices. This is a little bit of salt. I'm going to add like about a teaspoon, half to a teaspoon salt depending on your taste. And then I'm going to use some vegetable masala and mix with some turmeric and some garam masala. So I mixed all of this like uh, some curry masala vegetable masala anything that that is like really spicy and hot and you can add red or green chili pepper as well if you like it hot because it will bring up the taste now this kind of sauteed spinach really really very tasty just be sure to cover it up and let it cook for 10 minutes just let it simmer and low heat in 10 minutes this will cook really good and the water will dry out and then you just toss it around and it's ready for you to enjoy now you can add some more spices at the end depending on how spicy you like and if you want to give it a little bit of sour punch you can add dry mango powder dry mango powder is available in all kinds of oriental store I usually get it from the Indian store 
you can get it from like um, uh, any kind of Indian Pakistani stores and Asian stores sometimes have it the dry mango powder will bring out the taste too so at the end make sure you put some green chili or red chili powder dry mango powder some more vegetable spice just make it spicy and tangy and now this one you eat with brown rice or you can put it on top of a bread like between sandwich you can make a spinach patty you dry it up a little bit more and then make it like a patty like this and put it between your bread and this is so tasty and healthy and this has all the protein you need and vitamins and minerals so you don't need to eat any kind of animals this is your vegetable protein vegetarian vegan protein because as you know the spinach has more protein than meat the people who has gout the people who cannot digest spinach so now I'm going to hi we're going to do our second vegetarian and vegan recipe and now uh, this one is going to be really crispy soft and tender green squash so i already started my stove top the oven and i'm gonna start heating it up in medium heat there's the beautiful green squash and i chop them off into small bite-sized pieces I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil very little oil you don't need oil to cook anything just we use bare minimum just to saute the spices and give it a really beautiful aroma and now to this I'm going to add my usual just the cumin seed and asafoetida and this is really awesome for digesting food so I add it to my all my preparations and I'm going to roast it till it gives a beautiful aroma but be sure not to burn it because if you burn it then it changes to a burning smell so just roast it just enough and to this I'm going to add this is onion ginger garlic paste with water and spices and I pre-make it and so I'm going to just keep it to add this one and this makes it easy if you keep it prepared and when you need it you can just use two tablespoons so I keep it in my fridge for a whole week and I'm going to add this one and I will add one chopped tomato so this one I'll add just two tablespoon and let me just go ahead and think my cumin and asafoetida is ready I'm going to add the tomatoes to roast with it first this is one large tomato cut I'm just going to cook this one, make it a little bit soft and cook. And I have to add some salt and turmeric. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric to it. And I'll add some salt. About half a teaspoon because I have half a teaspoon of salt and the onion ginger garlic paste so you have to watch out for the salt and I'm going to add now the onion ginger garlic paste and let this one cook at this time you can add all the spices if you like because we're going to cover it to cook for five minutes or so until this is ready so the entire cooking of green squash will take you about 15 minutes so this is about 
five minutes of sauteing this and cooking and making sure that all the water is dried up and the tomatoes are cooked and be sure your heat is low so it doesn't burn and then once it's done you open and you add your all the spices and your squash and cover it and cook it 10 more minutes so now it looks like it's done and this is very very simple it takes about total of 15 minutes to cook this and it's very tasty you can eat it with brown rice or bread and garnish with um, chopped cilantro on top and chopped green uh, scallions, green onions, uh, and green chili pepper, and it becomes awesome, so tasty. So just enjoy this with bread. Or Hi, thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.